This video is sponsored by Raycon. As you start your holiday shopping, Raycons are a great way to go. Their wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound, useful features, an almost custom comfortable fit, and up to 54 hours of battery life. As an ASMR creator, the right headphones are of course super important to me. And with Raycon and the earbuds, I'm not getting tangled up in any of those annoying wires when I'm trying to relax. Plus, they are great for walks with the infamous Chili Bee. They're great for the whole family, not just the ASMR lovers in your household, perfect for that gamer cousin, or that uncle who likes to listen to his phone out loud. Yeah, they need some of these. So knock that holiday list out all at once and get 30% off by shopping Raycon's holiday bundles. Personally, we're a big fan of the Everyday Duo Bundle, where you can get 30% off of two pairs of Raycon's best-selling earbuds, and that's great for us because we love to sit in the same room and watch different things on our phones silently. Hashtag couple goals. You can find Raycon's in-store now, like Kohl's or Walmart, but if you use this link, you not only get the best deal, you also help support the channel. Click on the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash chilibee to get 20% off site-wide or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. There's also going to be different deals coming throughout the season, so I'll try to keep the link in the description updated. Again, that code is buyraycon.com backslash chilibee. Thank you so much to Raycon for supporting our channel, making this video possible. Enjoy the video. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Good to see you again. I'm Dr. B. We're going to be doing a full body skin mapping on you today. Um, and this is good to get once a year, just to make sure there's no changes, nothing um, abnormal on the skin, uh, nothing underneath the surface of the skin that we can see, um, and just an overall health check of the largest organ on our body, which is our skin layer. That sounds great. Um, so, do you have any questions before we begin? No, I don't think so. Wonderful. So I'm just looking back at last year here. And I know we've done a couple of sessions with your face and your back. We've never done a full body though, mm -hmm. looks like. So that'll be good to get one in the book. So today is Thursday. Any uh, issues with your skin that are new to you? Any new changes? Um, not really. Okay, I know it's winter right now. Is there any excessive dryness or sweating or anything unusual? Um, I guess I have been having um, maybe some more dryness in my hands, especially. Um, just I've found a few patches um, okay. that are new. Okay, let's take a look at those. Okay. And any rashes, patches of red, bumpiness, anything like that that you noticed? No. Nah. What about um, acne? I can, just from looking at you, it looks pretty clear. Any acne elsewhere in the body, the back, the um, arms, no. nothing like that? Okay. Okay. And how about um, any uh, fungi in the nails, uh, any warts, anything like that? No, nothing like that. All right, wonderful. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty basic inspection today. I'm going to start out with just looking at you, put on some gloves. We're going to work section to section. So I'm going to start out with your face, I'll move down to your arms, and then we'll take a look at your legs and your chest and your back. Okay. So first putting on gloves, just want to make sure there's nothing, no open wounds, sores, oozing, that kind of thing. And then we can take a closer look at the skin. There's nothing that I can see. Just looking through the scalp as well. issue with ingrown hairs or pain in the beard? Um, no. Good. I am noticing that same multiple color in the beard like last time. It hasn't changed too much. Just 
picking a couple spots on my head here to take a look at. Just keep your eyes closed for me. I'm just going to look at the other side. Just going to look at the lips. You spread your mouth apart just a little for me. I look right on the inside here. Just look for any freckles that might be hiding there right on the surface, and that looks fine. See a little bit of dryness on the ears. You said that was new in the winter, or is this more usual for you? Um, I think it's new. Yeah. Um, they're just a little bit red too, which I think uh, could be from the cold. Do you uh, often walk outside or are you outside often? Um, yeah, quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, so I just guess maybe just wearing a hat protect those sensitive ears here. Um, but looks fine otherwise. Okay, Jeremy. So in general, I didn't see any major concerns. And I just want to take a quicker look, closer look rather, with a magnifying glass. So again, just look straight ahead for me. I'm just looking at each of the sections of the face too. So we'll start with this top section here, the forehead. The turner is good here. Don't see excessive oil. The pores are rather fine. Hair distribution is normal, just a light peach fuzz on the face. It's just one tiny little blemish there, but really clear otherwise. Do see a bit of a freckle there. I want to take a closer look at that. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of a closer look there and with my little note there to look with the infrared light. Okay. Checking out the other side. And this one looks very clear. Bit of scarring here. That's pretty old. It looks like at least 10 years. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just an aesthetic thing. There's nothing unhealthy about it. Coming on down, I do just see another little freckle right there, right past your right eye that I want to take a look at closer. to your cheeks. You have a little bit more fat in the cheeks, which is typical. But the skin is nice and moisturized and supple. Just a little bit more, um, a little bit larger pores on the nose, but 
again, that is typical. There doesn't look to be anything that's inflamed or infected. Just gonna look at the other cheek. Nice and healthy. Good distribution of the beard. Do you have any issues with the uh, beard growth or does it grow pretty consistently? Very consistently. Okay, good. So this is a few days shaved. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. There's one little spot I want to look at here a little closer. And it is just right on a hair follicle there. Lighter too. Just gonna look with a little bit of a different light so we can make sure there's nothing else going on there. And then of course the beard does cover up the chin of your face, but everything looks really healthy there. So let's go ahead and look with that blue light before we move on to the neck. Jeremy again, just straight ahead of me. I'm just going to look with a slightly different light here and close your eyes for safety. I'm not seeing any broken blood vessels under the skin. Okay. All right, let's move on to the neck. I'm just going to look at the skin, the hair distribution around the neck. A little bit of a mole there, a freckle there. I'm just gonna make a note of that. And let's measure it as well. I don't seem to have too many freckles. This one is about an eighth of an inch, but symmetrical, round, just make a note. well and that all looks fine I'll just give it a quick look with the light okay I'm gonna have you remove your sweater I'm gonna take a look at your arms okay, I'll start out with this left arm Gonna push this up. Is that okay? Yep. Let me just take a quick look first. Make sure there's no open wounds. Nothing. Okay. No cuts or scrapes recently, right? No. All right. Just take a general look then. Do you see a little bit more freckling on the arms? Just interesting. You don't have any really on your face, but you do seem to have them on the extremities, and there is a little bit of a larger one back here. That one is half a centimeter by one centimeter, so a little bit of asymmetry. So just go ahead and mark that. And take a note. Okay, we'll lay down the arms, good hair distribution. And you said there, oh, I see that little bit of dryness. Is that right on your knuckles there? Yeah. See that redness? <laughs> Let's take a look at that. And that does just look like dry skin, maybe a little bit of eczema. Is it itchy at all, uncomfortable? Um, not too bad. Okay. It's pretty mild, but I can definitely give you a topical cream for that to take away some of the discomfort. Let's just take a quick closer look at it though. Can you just hold it up for me please? Okay, 
yeah, that looks like dry skin. There's a little bit of um, buildup flaking there. Uh, so I'll look at the other side as well, but let me just finish with this arm. There's just this constellation here, just this section of freckles I want to look at because it's pretty isolated. There's really none here, none on the inner arm. Let's just test that. I do want to keep an eye on that, make sure it's not going to become a cluster patch, that there's nothing wrong with the uh, skin follicles here. Okay, take a look at the other side, you can put that down. Same thing here. This arm is generally a little bit clearer of freckles. There is one large one there. It's only about a quarter centimeter in diameter. There is just a little bit of almost like a second one forming here. Is that something you've noticed before? I have not noticed, no. Okay, let's definitely watch that one. down. A couple of really small ones here, but they're not raised at all. So I'm not too worried. And again, good hair distribution. Really no blemishes. Very clear, thin, very soft and warm to the touch. Dry. And I don't see that same dryness on the tops of your hands on this side. There's a little bit on the inside of the hand. And again, that same topical will, will be perfect for that. I just want to see if there's anything I missed. Okay, I think that looks fine. test some of the sensitivity of the skin to make sure that there's no um, lack of sensation or excessive sensation. Just a couple of little things. Starting out with there's a little puff of air. So I'm going to show you on your chest. Do you feel that on the skin? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to puff it on your face. Just tell me if you can feel it. Uh, you can just say yes. 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 Okay, did that sensation feel differently anywhere? No. Okay, perfect. I'll try the same thing on your arms. Just a little puff of air. Yes. 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 Flip them for me. Yes. 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 Good thing. Same thing on this side. Yes. 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 Okay, that's wonderful. I'm going to go with like a slightly lighter touch now. And so same thing, just say yes if you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 The arm for me. Yes. 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 Okay, this side. Yes. 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 Okay, and does this feel a rough sharp all the way down your arm mm -hmm. and it feels the same the whole way yeah okay on this side same sharpness all the way down yep yeah. this feels as sharp as that yes here and here yes here and here yes and there yes all right so your sensation seems fully intact. We did mark a couple of spots here on your face and your arms that we want to watch, and I made those notes. Um, but now I want to have you uh, remove your top, lay down, and I'm going to look at your back, okay? Sounds good. All right, Jeremy, I'm just going to take a look at your upper back. Again, let's put some gloves on to examine the full back before we get started. I'm 
have any sensitivity when I'm touching you here? No. Okay. Okay. There looks like there's no spots of any broken skin or anything like that. So, so go ahead and take a look. I do see right away a couple more freckles in the back here. There is one that is raised. So I'm gonna get a couple measurements here. Okay, it looks like we have about a half centimeter by three quarter centimeter and raised by a quarter centimeter. Definitely want to keep an eye on that one, especially because there's a little bit of discoloration, but it is relatively symmetrical. Just look really closely here. Yeah, we may want to consider removing that for next time. small flat marks here. A little bit of unique shape there as well. Let's take a closer look. one is completely flat but it is asymmetrical so let's just take a quick look okay this way we have it on file for next time Otherwise, the back looks in relatively good shape. I'm gonna do that same sensation testing really quickly. Pull this down a little bit more. Lower back looks completely clear. So again, a little puff of air, just say yes when you feel it. Yes. Nice, soft touch. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, and just say yes. 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 Okay. And I want you to tell me if this feels the same sort of sharp roughness all the way down the back. Yeah, it did. Okay, and how about this side? Yes. Okay, and right down the middle here from the neck down? The same. The same. Well, Jeremy, the back actually looks like it's in really good shape. Just we'll circle that other one as well. We'll take some photos on your way out, but I don't notice anything concerning other than those couple of spots that I marked. So let's go ahead and move down to your legs. All right, Jeremy, let's take a look here at your legs. Do you mind if I take your socks off? Yeah, fine. I'm just going to put some gloves on to take an initial look. Any issues with the skin on the legs and the feet that you've noticed? That's what I've noticed. Okay. Just take a look. Just look at it here. Okay. 
this side. Right, looks good. No obvious blemishes. One flat freckle there. One there as well. Just mark that. Checking on this side. Really clear on this side. A little bit of dryness on the heels here. We can get you a bit of a scrub to take home. But otherwise, your feet look good. Hair distribution is good. Just take a slightly closer look here. Okay. That all looks fine. Sometimes those, the skin on the lower extremities can be prone to coldness. It's a little cold in this room as well. Okay. Measure that one that I saw. And that is an eighth centimeter diameter. Oh, there actually is one right here, about half an inch. Look at that with the, or rather half a centimeter, a little light here. Mm. I'm not seeing anything under the surface there. All right, J Jeremy, your legs are in good shape. Let's just do that final sensation exam. Say yes when you feel something. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 All right. Good. A little bit of a light touch. Now this. Mm -hmm. Feel that? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yep. So a little yes. bit of sensation loss right on that callusing on the heel there. Again, typical, but that scrub should help that. Yes. 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 Okay, and tell me if this feels just as rough all the way down. Yeah. Okay, on this side. Yeah. And just on the foot. Yeah. Yeah. And does it feel sharp on that big toe? Mm-hmm. What about right here? Does that feel any less sharp? A little bit, yeah. And here? Mm-hmm. Okay, but if I poke you really hard, you can feel it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think you look good for today. I'm going to make a few notes in my chart here and I will just send you any results that those photos that we took come in with. If anything different than what we talked about. Sounds great. All right. So Jeremy, I'm going to let you get dressed and you can come out front and we'll make your next appointment. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.